starting to get a lot of missing drawers. They're all over here. <laughs> uh, I haven't had time to do anything. Uh, they've been keeping me busy. Somebody, oh, I left the door open. So it's been really good. Um, I guess everybody's spending their stimulus money. I got the Tipper Truck Army Builder thing organized finally. Got it by each bag has a different part. I'm getting low on 1x4 red bricks and I have none of the headlight bricks. And uh, that's what tippers I have left. I think I got enough wheels to get to my goal. Uh, it's going to be close. Might need a few more dualies. Uh, but yeah, this is the Tipper Truck Army Building Station. And I got yet another update on these things. All that and more on this episode of Bricks Are. Is that corny enough for you? Hey, <laughs> I'm Jabbo. Welcome to Bricks Are. So I actually got most of this table cleaned off. I did it earlier this year and then I've gradually let things piled up. Right now, the only things I have on it are the Blacksmith Shop, a Yoda, uh, some stuff for my other channels. I got a, a Lego train set. I still got the stinky Legos that don't stink anymore. A screwdriver, some trays, and then all the tipper trucks. So each of these big boxes has 36 tipper trucks. Fully built and ready for battle. So those four, that makes 144. I got 14 more here, that makes 158. I got five down there, that's 163. One up here, 164. I got three sealed in the box, that's 167. I got the five customs. You could say 172, but I'm not going to count them. Uh, so 167 built or sealed in the box tipper trucks. Um, I need 198 more, I think is what it is. I got about 30... 30, what did I say, 30, I think I got 31 more blue buckets. So that's the progress there. And I got another t-shirt. Oh, and this t-shirt answers a question I asked myself. So the video where I had the Santa Fe train, I was wearing a shirt that said uh, Jessup, the town that trains built. I, I, I knew I had a map of it somewhere. It's actually on this shirt. It's over, I think on this side, Jessup is... So we went from Bainbridge, I think, to St. Simon's Island um, in 1994. So this shirt's 27 years old, almost. It'll be, the, the ride always, was always in June when I would go. And I'm going to do a haul. Uh, but I think the, the first thing I need to talk about <laughs> is these again. All right, so it may very well be that this is the way that Lego made them. And I think from now on, I'm just going to assume that, especially when the cuts are very straight. So, <sighs> Brick Fans LLC, I paid them back. They had refunded me. I, we had a little discussion, and I was like, you know what? <coughs> Talked to some other sellers, and theirs looked just like this. It doesn't look like the picture on BrickLink, but it's possible that they had different manufacturing processes. This plate was available from... At least 1970. I didn't, I didn't look up the years. So uh, until the 80s. At the very least. Maybe even into the 90s. Maybe longer. I don't know. So it's possible they had different manufacturing processes through that time. Uh, so yeah. I paid them back. Still a good sell. I mean. That had Yeah. I'm just a terrible buyer I guess. So. Yeah. There you go. That's that story. All right, let's get to this haul. This is from Goodwill. I haven't bought anything from Goodwill in a while. I'm my own worst enemy with that. I, I know I got chastised uh, years ago because I talked about buying stuff from Goodwill and it was like it was letting the secret out. And Goodwill's pretty much um, a place where people go to pay way more than they should for used or incomplete Lego sets. But every now and then, you find something. So this one... It was $17 in change, plus shipping and handling and tax. So that got it up to $33. Uh, so let's see what I got for my $33. 
And this stuff is, I got my curiosity box. Um, that'll be over on Jabo 37 eventually. Lamar, let's see if we can not cut what's in the box this time. How about that, Brigzar? Uh, was I overzealous that time? Hopefully not. All right, and this should be, if I remember right, this is vintage Lego. Uh, again, I have not won much on uh, Goodwill lately. I uh, saved my bubble wrap, as long as it doesn't stink. Okay. This is a dirty box. It's an old box. This, this is probably what they used to store it. I'm hopeful that the condition of the pieces is going to be good because if it was in a modern box I, I mean to me this box looks old i could be wrong but to me if it was in a modern box that means there'd be a chance that it had been played with more i'm hoping all right let's just look at it i hope it hadn't been played with that much all right what do we got this looks like pieces to the junior constructor set set 7117 i mean 717 so we got the typical gray base plates from the time period, a bunch of yellow 2x4, the, the, the large number of yellow 2x4 and larger bricks suggests that it was the junior <gasps> Ooh, I found this. <laughs> we got some letters. That's going to be nice. That's an S. We got an X. Uh-oh, hope I don't have an E. I got a Y, S E X Y. Let's see. I got a V. I want an E. Feel sexy. This is a sexy haul. Ah, an E. <laughs> I found one. That's funny. Of the first um, five letters I found. <laughs> oh, don't do this. There we go. Sexy. This is a sexy haul. Ah, that's not true. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a garage door piece. Is it broken? I don't think so. We got windows and doors. This window is missing the window part. We got the old style one by one round bricks. They have no lip on the bottom. They, those bricks don't give you no lip. I'm trying to see if there's anything rare in here. The letters, I think, there's a W are good. And the garage door piece. Piece of crayon. So nothing too exciting, but a good assortment of typical... You, you know, when you get an old thing like this, you're not going to find a lot of value sometimes, unless you find those HO scale vehicles. So, big lot for vintage uh, stuff there. We got another old box. I think I need to wash all this stuff. Oh, look, these are in excellent condition. These are the little sorting trays. And these, some of these are cellulose acetate. You can tell by the nice warpedness to them. There's the, hey, there's the window from the uh, window that was missing a window. Yeah, these are relatively clean. So it's like I thought, they, they don't like they've been played with too much. They've just aged, I mean, warped with age. Again, it's just a lot of the standard, typical bricks. Nothing striking me as rare. You got the old style underside of these. Pretty good condition. So, I mean, I'm happy with the condition of these. And plus getting these little sorting trays is nice. So that's box number two. We do have another box. What's in here? And more of the same. So I've got plenty of sorting trays, plenty of standard bricks, and it doesn't look like, yeah, no rare parts. But overall, I think for $33, with the gold chain, it's probably worth $5,000. Um, pretty good deal. It's not gold. This isn't gold, is it? What if, what if this was like real gold? It's not. It's it's cheap. Wait a minute. What if it's real? 
I don't think it's real. Okay, and I've just put my hands all over it. All right, so that's some um, regular vintage Lego. And, you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier in the video that I had on the table was sorting trays. <laughs> so now I've got more. But these are in better condition. Look at this. So that's the new one. That's, well, I don't know. They're about the same. Mine's a little dirtier. So that's pretty good. I really need to sort all of my vintage stuff. <laughs> it, it should be easier. In fact, if I started sorting, I, I probably should start with vintage because there's not all the infinite variety of parts that you have with modern stuff. It's just like 2 by 4 bricks, 2 by 8 bricks, 2 by 10 bricks, 2 by 2 bricks, and about 6 different colors. <laughs> Most of which, there's not many of. Like You don't see a lot of blue. It's like in nature, not a lot of naturally occurring blue in the Lego wild here. Not even that much black or trans clear. But a lot of red, a lot of white, and a little bit of yellow and some gray, but usually limited to the base plates or bricks as these are. All right, you know what? I'm going to throw all these boxes away. Are any of these boxes worth anything? I don't think, think so. All right, so I can I consolidated it. I got all the pieces to fit in this box, which I'll keep in here until it's time to wash them. The I took out the um, sorting trays and the base bricks. So I'm going to put these shorting 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 sorting sorting trays with the other ones there. Now I got all those. So look, I did some sorting right in front of you. All right, so more vintage Lego that's in a box. It's just going to go away and hide for years and years and years. Oh, watch this. Wait a minute. I think i got a place for these plates. That's one of the few places I know where stuff is. It's the uh, vintage brick, base brick box. Still plenty of room in here. Got plenty of these. So I think I should acknowledge I got a lot of great uh, cleaning tips. Uh, this is several days ago from a lot of people about the uh, stinky bricks. And I think one of the uh, good suggestions, and I, I should have thought of this, is to just put a bunch of baking soda. Or is it baking powder? Baking soda. I, ne I never know the difference between the stuff you put, like the Arm & Hammer baking soda. That's what it is. Put it in here and let it absorb the smell for a few days. And also vinegar was something somebody said. I, I might actually, I wonder if I soak them in vinegar, that would give the, the luster back to them. But by the time you watch this video, it would be too late. Who knows? Anyway, I wanted to thank Back to Bricks. He shared his story. Uh, if you remember, a, a little while back we had the uh, the first of the year, month, not the year, first of the month, uh, the, the ordeal buying the space shuttle. Where is my space shuttle, by the way? Uh, anyway, maybe it'll be here tomorrow in tomorrow's video, or the, a couple of days. I don't know. But anyway, the the he shared his experience of the, uh, the problems with the site being overloaded, and you ch you think you checked out and you didn't. And, but he was able to get his coin, and I just want to acknowledge a question he asked: is if you had the coin, do you or like if you weren't interested? <laughs> anyway, he said, would you sell the coin? <laughs> I should summarize it like that. So, no, I mean, if I had a bunch of them, I might look to sell them, but then they wouldn't be worth as much. It's crazy how it has snowballed. Nobody was interested in the coins when they first came out. That pirate coin, was that the first one, the pirate one, or was it the castle? I think it was the pirate one. It was available for weeks. <laughs> it seemed like weeks afterward. Then the castle one, a little less. And then uh, the Octan one, a little less. <laughs> and then this one, just a few hours. So the Lego, the gold Lego one is probably going to go quick. So I'm just, I just got to remember to check every day. Uh, I'm, or it, I think the way they've been doing, they've been doing them on the first of the month. So I'm going to check on May 30th. No, wait, what month is this? April 30th <laughs> is when I'll be checking for it. Not on May 1st. Because Lego seems to do things in Australian time or something. But anyway, it was a good question. Would you sell it? I think a lot of people would because we see that on eBay. 
Uh, it's crazy what people are paying for those things and for something that there wasn't a lot of interest in at first. And uh, I still hear a lot of people that don't like them, uh, but the people that do like them really, really like them. So if you're not attached to them, this will probably be one of the times when they're worth the most. That it, I suspect the price could go down, could come back up. Lego could re-release them. You never know. They could have a whole warehouse of them. They just only did a limited number of them this time. Yeah, I don't know with them. Uh, but oh, also back to Rick said uh, corridor crew. Yes, that was what I watched about the uh, moon landing videos. It was a very good video that they did uh, talking about how those couldn't possibly have been faked, especially in 1969. All right, so uh, thank you um, so much for watching. I, I did. A, I actually got a little bit. This table when I when I came down to the basement right before I started filming, this table was covered with stuff. So it's in good shape. I can do my Vsauce video. And one of the Fs escaped from the box. So let's put an F in the chat. Don't do that. Don't don't don't, don't do that. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.